everyone. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I'm Queenie from Cebu, Philippines, an international student here in Edmonton, Alberta. And I just recently completed my two-year diploma program from Nate last December of 2022. As I have been receiving some inquiries on how I applied to my school, I thought of coming up with this how-to video and hopefully this can help you as well if you are planning to study at Nate. Before I walk you through the steps, let me quickly share my timeline with you. Just a disclaimer, my timeline is not ideal, but more or less, you will go through the same process, but your timelines will surely be shorter than mine. Alright, so now let me quickly talk about my timeline. I applied for my program in October 2019. Then in November of that same year, Nate completed the International Document Assessment, and I received my confirmation ad admission in December of that year. Then after I accepted my program admission and paid the tuition fee deposit, I got my full program acceptance in the same month. I then applied for my student permit in February of 2020, which got approved in November that year. And then to confirm my enrollment, I paid the first term tuition fee in full and started my program in January of 2021. Let me also show you some pre-work or important steps that you must do prior to submitting your program application. The first step is for you to select your program. This could be a program related to your previous education or work experiences, or it could be a career that you intend to pursue in the future. Whatever program you choose, it is best to compare your options ahead of time and choose a major or program that you are truly interested in pursuing and most importantly one that you can strongly support in your statement of purpose as to why you intend to pursue your program here in Canada. Second is for you to decide on your target intake and most importantly take note of your program application deadline. The application deadline for each program varies depending on the intake or start date. So it is best that you look up the program you want to apply and make sure you have enough time to prepare as applications can take up weeks to process. And the third step is to prepare the required documents. These are the documents that you will be required to submit for your program application. It is critical that you have these documents ready so that you can submit them as soon as your program application opens to avoid delays in your application process. Based from my experience, here are the documents that I have submitted. I submitted official academic transcripts from my college and high school. I also submitted diploma from my high school and college. And then as IELTS is not required at NATE, I submitted medium of instruction certificate from my high school and college as proof that English is used as a medium of instruction. As my application was three years ago and there could be some changes, I will include a link to the NATE website in the description box below about entrance requirements. So now let me walk you through the program application steps I did. The first step is for you to submit an application and pay the related fees through the Alberta Provincial Post Secondary Application website or APAS. I paid an application fee of 115 Canadian dollars. You will need to create a profile on the APAS website then choose the institution to which you want to apply and fill out some information similar to what you see on your screen. Moving on to the second step, you must upload supporting documents and transcripts using your MyNate portal. You have to check your MyNate portal frequently for your application status and to-do list. Your to-do list identifies what is missing from your application, so you have to read the list very carefully as you may have outstanding items on your to-do list that must be submitted by the posted due date in order to complete your NAID application. By checking these items on a regular basis, you can monitor the progress of your application and keep it on track. Next one is the International Document Assessment. You will be notified about this process in your MyNAID portal to-do list during this step. You must pay the International Student Assessment fee of 75 Canadian dollars for NAID to initiate the International Document Assessment 
for your admission. The purpose of this step is to determine the Alberta education equivalence of your education completed outside Canada and for the school to determine if you have fulfilled the academic requirements of your chosen program. A sample international document assessment result that was completed for me is displayed on your screen for your reference. My program's two major academic requirements were 55% in English and math, which I fortunately met to fulfill my program requirements. Then the fourth step is a program admission. At this point, you will receive notification of admission to the program via your MyNate portal. To accept your offer at admission, you must pay the non-refundable tuition and deposit of $1,000 Canadian dollars by the deadline to receive the visa letter of acceptance, which is the most important document you will need to apply for your stu student permit. Shown on your screen is a sample letter that I received from the school for your reference. And the last and final stage is a full program admission or acceptance. Upon receipt of the school of your payment of the initial tuition deposit, you will receive your visa letter of acceptance within 24 hours. I paid mine in December 16 of 2019 and my visa letter of acceptance was released the next day. As a reference, a portion of my visa letter of acceptance is displayed on your screen. All right, so that wraps up our program application process. I hope this gives you an idea of how the process works when you apply for a program at NATE. Mine took about two to three months, but it was well worth the wait. I realized it was just a preparation of what was to come during my visa application process, which I will share with you in our upcoming video. I believe the processing time now is shorter than it was during my time, but if that situation requires you to wait, just trust the process and keep the faith. Okay, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for future uploads or stories of our journey here in Canada. Thank you, and you all have a good day.